Hello everyone, and today I'm testing the FSR3 frame generation mod on a non-RTX 4000 GPU. I'm showing you here all the settings that we're starting with, and I have my texture settings set to medium and crowd density to low. We're on 1080p, and our processor is a Ryzen 5 5600, and our GPU is the RTX 2060 Super which has a little bit of a factory overclock, but not so much. Also, the performance monitoring you see on the top left, I'm using MSI Afterburner with the River Tuner um, statistics server, and I'm recording with NVIDIA Shadowplay. As you can see in this area, we're getting about 79, 80 FPS, depending on where you're looking at. And as a reminder, this is running on 1080p with no upscaling. Now I'm gonna go ahead and enable ray tracing uh, preset at um, Psycho, and let's see what happens. Now as you can see, my system is barely scraping by at around 20 FPS, and the frame times are just really bad at like um, 45 to 50 milliseconds. Now to improve that, I'm going to use DLSS at 65% um, sharpness and at the quality setting, which means the internal resolution of the game should be 1280 by 720. Now we're getting about 35 to 40 frames per second at about 28 milliseconds of frame time. And I think this is playable and 1080p DLSS at quality settings, I think it's playable. Um, it's not too bad. Now I'm going to enable Ray Reconstruction, uh, which they made available without having to use path tracing in patch 2.1. Let's see what happens. So unfortunately, enabling Ray Reconstruction in this Ray Tracing mode at least costs me performance. As you can see, we're dro we've dropped to about 35 to 37 FPS. Okay, now I'm going to disable that and enable frame generation, however, although it says DLSS frame generation in the menu, the mod actually, um, I just switches it to FSR3 frame generation instead. The menu's a bit buggy, so I have to enable it a bunch of times. So now, the game is apparently running around 60 to 70 frames per second, with actually pretty good frame times at around 15-20 um, milliseconds. It still feels pretty responsive and I don't feel input lag like I would do when I um, turn on VSync for example. However, if you look closely, you'll see a little bit of jittering in the uh, camera movement when I pan across the screen. That is because our base, our base frame rate is um, below 60 FPS. Okay, now what if we turned on Ray Reconstruction? Well, it's the same result. We get a little bit of a performance penalty. It seems like Ray Reconstruction doesn't work well on the 20 series GPUs. Now I'm going to turn off both Ray Reconstruction and Frame Generation, FSR3, remember? And we're going to torture our poor, poor GPU by turning on Path Tracing. Well, the footage speaks for itself. And remember, this is actually running at DLSS quality, so the internal resolution is 720p. It looks like Ray Reconstruction got turned on automatically, so I'm gonna turn that off. So the interesting thing here is, now the game is running about 2 to 3 frames worse. So that means Ray Reconstruction was actually giving me a performance boost when, I had, when I'm having um, Path Tracing turned on. Okay, now for the big deal, we're going to turn on frame generation. Remember, this is FSR3 frame generation modded into um, the game. Let's see what happens. 
Okay. Now, as you can see, the game is running, apparently running, at about 35 to 40 frames per second, with frame times around 30 milliseconds. However, you're going to notice the horrible artifacting and all the ghosting that is going on in the scene because our base frame rate was so abysmally low that uh, the frame generation is basically begging me to turn it off. But no, we're going to try the balanced DLSS setting, which is 1114 by 626 internal resolution. Okay, see, it seems we have about 5 more frames, but it, that still doesn't fix a lot of the ghosting and artifacting issues. And that is still because the frame generation is probably still um, interpolating from a base frame rate about 20-25 frames per second. I don't expect any improvements from performance mode, but hey, what the hell, I'm gonna test it. Another interesting note, the ghosting and the artifacting seems to have toned down a bit. However, DLSS performance mode at 1080p looks so bad that nobody should be using it. Like, the scene in the game looks like a, an oil painting. Reminds me of um, early DLSS 1.0. Now we're back at DLSS quality with no wave reconstruction but with frame generation. Remember, FSR3 frame generation. And we're at we're back at ray tracing cycle preset. And this seems to be how I will probably play my next playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. And I actually haven't played Phantom Liberty, so I look forward to doing that. Okay, so this video was originally inspired by a video from a channel that I came across called MX Benchmark PC where they test basically the same thing with a RTX 3080 and please go check out their video to see how the R their RTX 3080 performs. I'll also link all of that in down below as well as um, link to the mod, a link to the GitHub and all that. If you thought this video was informative, please consider subscribing. I make random videos now and then. This is this was really interesting to me, so I did it. Follow me for more fun stuff. Thank you.